everybody. We are back uh, with the stars of Wine Country. You can see it on Netflix. Emily, Paula, Anna, and Rachel. And behind the bar, it is Chris, our hot sommelier. And that's a real tan, it's not a spray tan. This is, this is all natural. Wow. Yeah. And he's kind. Very compelling. He's kind, kind and wholesome. Sweet. Yeah, he's a sweet guy. He would help you get a kitten out from under a dumpster. Let's go to Jill from Michigan. Hey, Jill, what's your question? Hi, I wanted to ask the ladies what their reaction was to Adam Sandler's tribute to Chris Farley Saturday night. Ooh. Oh, it was I beautiful. loved it. Yeah. It was yeah. super sweet. It's, it's I a, love Sandler. Yeah. I love Sandler. And it was nice to, it was kind of a surprise <clears throat> with all the mayhem mm -hmm. to see this really touching moment. Yeah. The one thing I'll say about Lauren Michaels is that he knows how to allow emotion to come in. Uh -huh. And even during 9 11 or anything, um, let's do an. Half an hour about 9/11, yeah. please. Let's Wah. gather around. Yeah, right. No, but uh, it, it, he always knows how to have that moment that you know, uh, or soulful, encourage that moment. soulful yeah. moment. Humanity. Which I love. You all were any of you at the show when Gilda Radner passed away? No, 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 because that was an incredible. They, they re-aired that great Steve Martin thing. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Um, my okay, let's go to David from New York. Hey, David, what's your question? Hi, my question is for Rachel. Um, so, first of all, I think we live on the same block. I don't know if that's creepy. Oh, my God. Anyway. Okay. Well, next time anyway, you see me. Anyway, I wanted to... Steer clear. Okay, I'll give you a wave. Okay. Um, I wanted to know if you kept in touch with Luann after performing at her cabaret. <laughs> you seem to be scarred okay, by it. I am scarred by it. I'm you scarred are. by it. But not because of Luann. Luann was lovely. <laughs> I love singing A Little Help for My Friends by the Beatles with Luann. That was a delight. But, oh, I mean that sincerely, but then I'm not really a singer, and they insisted that I go first. And um, that was probably a mistake. But anyway. Problematic, yeah. But, but I love Luann. She was very kind to me. Let's go to um, <laughs> Kathy from one of our <laughs> smallest states, Rhode Island. Oh. Hey, Kathy. Oh, Hi, oh my gosh, I love you so much, Andy. Oh my gosh. But my question is, how many times do you all get together and watch SNL Live? Oh, do you ever get together oh. and watch SNL? We get, we together, get together a lot, but we don't watch SNL Live. Yeah. yeah. But we do discuss it in our, we, we talk you have in a our group chat. We watch it. Yeah. Yeah. We it pretty watch much every Sunday. Or, that or, or we'll forward really highlights or if people missed yeah. it. Oh my God, this sketch was really funny because we we're, we get tired and we, a lot of us have to watch it in the morning. Yes. When you, <laughs> when you work there and then you watch it later and you leave, the music gives you diarrhea. That's true. Yeah. Oh, you really? mean the night music? It because just stresses you out because you music, feel nostalgic. you're changing clothes. Right before the show. Right. So it's, it's when you are you running PTSD. That, as yeah. fast as you can with a million scripts and actors are running and we're trying to like make contact with changes and right. it's a very terrifying moment. Yeah. And so when you hear that music at home, you see I know I shit my I'm square done. dancing skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she likes to watch TV in a square dance. Speaking I do. Speaking of um, small states, Lala is on the line from Delaware. Hey, Lala. Hi, Andy. Hi. This question is for Emily or any of the ladies that want to chime in. Okay. Who is your favorite housewife, and who do you want to push off a bridge? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The Delaware bridge. Oh, God, can this be all eras? I mean... Right now, I have to say I love Dorenda. Okay. And I do. I love okay. Dorenda. I like when she's kind. I like when she's losing it. I love it. Okay, good. Push off a bridge. I would probably time machine push Alexis Bellino off a bridge. Okay. All right. Call back. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Allie from Oklahoma. Hey, Allie, what's your question? Oh, hey. So my question is, what was the, uh, the girls' reactions when they got hired for SNL? Oh my mm. God! Oh, I mean, it was error. like it's like the dream phone call of like you can't. Believe, it's a pinch me moment for yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I had sort of a, a, a different version of the of the diarrhea uh, square dancing skirt, <laughs> which is to say, I was engaged, so I was I I was my invitations had already gone out and come back, and I was so panicked 
um, about missing my wedding. But weren't you excited? Yes, I was more out? excited than I'd ever been in my whole life, but I was didn't know how, I was worried about it. It all right. worked out just perfect. I, I got hired and then 9-11 happened. Wow. 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 <laughs> I was working at the theme parks in Orlando. <laughs> That's true. Is that true? That's true. They yeah. called me. No way. Yes. Doing what? The, Performing? In Universal Studios in the green room at, at Murder, She Wrote post-production show. No. <laughs> Which doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Surprise! No. But um, my age, my local agent called me and said, "Are you sitting down? SNL saw this tape, and they want you to come there." And well, and did they want you to come per be a performer well, or a writer? Well, they said it's not an audition, and I was like, "What the fuck is it?" Right. Because <laughs> I had only I'd written my whole life, but only considered myself an actor, and then uh, I just went and. and Given, I mean, I, I obviously you were so successful as a writer, but given that you were a performer, was that um, was that tough for you? Did you want to be it wasn't, up there? Honestly, it wasn't because I was so young and I was born at fifty, so I always <laughs> played like Mother Superior and you know Sound of Music and stuff like that when and I was. And can 13. I just say, Paula and Emily are so funny in this Wine Country movie. Like they, yeah, yeah, they, me, really like, are. they steal the movie. And like they, you know, they've always been performers, but we knew them as writers all these years. But but now you guys get to know them as performers That's too, and they're sweet. so funny. But oh, when you go cheap. when you go there to SNL, a lot of times they hire writers for, I mean actors as writers. Right. Because they've right. done both. Yes. And they say put that hat away, and you do. Right. Because you want to excel in that area. Are there sketches that we could roll back now that we would be surprised to see that the two of you actually oh, we're appeared always, in? Oh yeah, they popped the up a lot. Yeah, sure. we're always. The they were so yes. funny. They're both. They were both. You know, known hilarities around the office. So, but uh, when yeah. you're in the monologue and you have one line, it's very terrifying because if you fuck up, oh and god, you're an it idiot. is like whoosh. yes, yeah. yes. Emily, Karen H wants to know on a scale of one to ten, how pissed were you when How I Met Your Dad wasn't picked up in 2014? Ooh, that is a woo woo woo. That Did you you wrote that show? I co-wrote that with you, with uh, Bays and Thomas. Um, it was jarring, but I was, I'm just gonna say it, a little relieved. You were, yeah. Uh, Billy S wants to know for all of you, who are you the most excited to see at the SNL 40th reunion special? Oh, I was oh excited gosh. to see Dana Carvey. <laughs> To see I, I love him. I was too. I had never really? met him and he was so sweet. He's so and sweet, so fun. shy. I was I excited love to meet him. Eddie Murphy because he had never come back before. Yeah. The oh, right. And yeah. I was and Murphy. shaking when I met At him. At the yeah. party afterwards, it was the most amazing. Like all these bands went up and Prince. played. So it was like yes. Paul McCartney, yes. Beef Prince. 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 And it, that was like, news. forget it. Yeah. That was he another. I'll never forget I will say, I was way, I wandered through the crowd and Jay Z and Beyonce were there. Yeah. And I had a tiny purse full of pot. <laughs> pot purse? A pot purse, a tiny side purse. And I looked up, and Jay-Z is so tall, and i he is one of my fence jumpers. I would go straight for him for a weekend. And <laughs> he looked down, and he goes, and he looked at me like I was an old lady, and he goes, you want to get high? <laughs> and I went, I already got a purse full of pot. Oh, my god! And he had a giant. Uh, anyway, I feel very old right now. Let me wheel out. <laughs> <laughs> Just wheeling um, oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. It's so fun having you here. So I loved watching the day. movie. If Netflix has their stuff together, they'll just offer you a a deal where you write a movie a year. Oh God, I'd give it. And it's oh, your we true. Had a, we had a I mean, joke about yeah, it. So many we ideas. Had so so much fun, and we kept thanking Emily and Liz and we're, and. Amy and we were like, oh my God, if we could just do this every year. Honestly, quit show business. because also yes, you have yes. the troupe. I mean, it's not just you guys. I'm sure there's other people that you would then mm -hmm. yeah, bring it's in a too. Whole little, and there's yeah. so many ideas we've already had in terms, you know, whatever. I mean, the location. The yeah. Location. yeah. Hawaii. Uh, Oktoberfest, <laughs> Carnival, you know. All I love it. Carnival. Um, Carnival. I want to thank Rachel, Paula, Anna, Emily. <laughs> The movie's Wine Country. See it on Netflix this weekend. Thanks, Chris. For more, click around RobertTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.